Hey guys, welcome to game two, now on Eclipse between Michael and Adame. Adame starting in the upper right hand corner as the... It almost looks like blue. This is, I believe, the skin you get for when you pre-purchase Remastered. The shiny thing. But I believe that is the yellow Protoss for Adame. Bottom left hand corner we have Michael as the pink Protoss and... Wow. That's all I can say is wow. It seemed like Adame did everything right. And was way, way, way ahead, but Michael able to sneak in with that one lone DT. And I'm wondering how... So first of all, it sounds like from the pause previous game that these guys are definitely playing in a bit of lag. So that's got to be frustrating. But secondarily, and I assume there's a GG in chat afterwards, because keep in mind these guys are playing at a lobby. But how frustrating is that game one? Where you had everything. You even blocked the cannon... It slipped through with five health, that DT, and then you even blocked the ramp, but just didn't quite, you're one pixel off, and didn't have hold position so that Dark Templar sneaks through and that's game. Oof, it's rough. But I suppose when you're playing Protoss, you live by the Dark Templar, you die by the Dark Templar, right? That's just uh, the Protoss play of life, I think. Both players not opting for any cheese right off the bat. Michael getting gateway first. This is a two-player map. It does have a ramp. I assume both players are going to opt for gateway assimilator builds. We'll have to see, though. Michael scouting after gateway, which I think is the typical safe scouting pattern. And I believe on Eclipse is when you can, in fact, sneak in. Adame actually going to go for the two-gate opener. And again, we'll see if that pays off for him. Last round... Pretty successful, honestly. And Michael just, yeah, had initial trouble of dealing with it. A little bit indecisive. Adame looking for a bit of cheese, perhaps. Is going to end up being a little bit of a later scout as a result. Michael's going to see this coming. And he does have that assimilator. And again, I feel like when you have that ramp, when you have the assimilator down, it's up to your opponent to be making mistakes. Which, to be fair, both sacrificing the ramp... And really kind of the... It felt like maybe it was a bit of lag. But a bit of the flustered response last match. Is what shifted things over initially. Away from Michael. Two additional zealots being produced. Probe does get in the base before the zealot seals the ramp this time. So it can be a factor here. Because first of all there's... You can bring it up to provide a little bit of attack support. The other thing you can do. Is you can move it to the mineral. The, line, the mineral only back here. If you have vision of it. And do a bit of a disruption across the Zealot line while you're attacking them. Second Zealot's being produced. First Zealot's making its way across. Zealot 2 and 3 out. Assimilator is plopped down after the fact. And not even bothering going after that probe. Is scouted. And cybernetics core to follow. So if he is following up with pressure. Probably needs those Dragoons to go up that ramp. And the first Zealot is approaching. Taking a bit of shield damage. Which is not what you want. when you. But actually might be able to end around Michael once again. Not holding his ramp. Which, considering he's one gate... Oh, my goodness. And I don't know if that's because of lag or nerves or what. Cybernetic score is warping in. He's going to need a Dragoon sooner rather than later. Zealot hanging out in the back line. Might have been able to engage. Waiting for his friends to come up. Does hold the ramp. And he's going to have superior numbers. Is that going to provoke more... Yeah, additional Zealots have... An one additional Zealot has been produced. Now it's three on two with a Dragoon. And Michael not microwing well. And so ending up with the Zealot that's going to be taken on the low ground. One probe dead on gas. Again, Adame's just got superior micro here with his Zealots. Hasn't been able to translate that into additional probe kills. Now getting additional probe kill. Michael waiting to draw some units to the low ground. Dragoon will be here momentarily. Adame is backing off. And it looks like he canceled that Zealot. Two Dragoons being produced. I'm wondering if he's going to back out or just dive in. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to dive into the probe line now. Has already got, looks like, two or three probe kills. He's gonna get, looks like he's going to get a fourth. Might might even get a fifth. Overall, this is a lot of economic disruption. That Zealot should get hunted down momentarily. And it looks like they're going to, yeah, enjoy their kills. Walk back to home base. Four kills on that Zealot. What a hero. He can wide walk all the way home. Sheesh. Two Dragoons waiting. Third gateway, looks like Citadel of Adun, he wants to opt for DTs this time. Or perhaps a quick level in weapons, level one, or uh, leg speed attack, we'll see. 
robotics facility dropping down for Michael. So if he decides to go robo, might be in an okay position with an observer, we'll see. It depends on what tech he goes first, when it happens, and how well he secures that ramp. Re-engaging four Dragoons, greeting these three Zealots, and that is going to send them hightailing home. At the very least, Michael's going to end up losing map position on his natural expansion, should Adame decide to take it and press this forward. With the units he has on the ground, continuing to produce Dragoons, a handful of Zealots to follow up. And yeah, I think it's... We'll see if he drops a Templar Archives right here. I'm almost wondering if it's just going to be the Weapons 1 leg speed thing, though. He does drop the Templar Archives. Forge in the background to provide detection for his end. Robotics facilities up. We do see a robotics support bay first. We'll see how long it takes observers to flood out here. Dragoon running up, doing a little bit of damage, but getting pelted. Michael's still not doing a very good job of sealing this ramp. He's moving down to the low ground. Looks like he wants to take his nexus and use, unfortunately, this Reva to provide the coverage. And it looks like he's going to pause all other production until he plops this Nexus down. That is going to give time for these Invisible Men to get produced. Oh! Dragoon first. Invisible Man doesn't have the gas. Is he going to cancel the Dragoon to do it? No. Putting Photon Cannon down first. So a little bit of an off build order here. So he's got the Templar Archives. Losing an opportunity. That's unfortunate. His Observatory plopping down. Two Dragoons being produced. Templar Archives is in place range being upgraded, but it looks like Adame switching decisions. He's like, okay, I think that ramp is going to be held. I don't think I can get a Dark Templar up there. I think Michael's going to be able to hold it, which honestly, given Michael Michael's proclivity to abandon his ramp at this stage, I wonder if he would have won the game just going Dark Templar here. But instead, opting to get Dragoons, this is actually going to hurt Adame a lot, because this is a big investment in tech right here. These three buildings to do nothing with them. Dropping a gateway to follow. And this reaver means that that three gate opener, comparatively, is what? not going to get a lot accomplished otherwise. Plus, he's going to be economically behind moving into the mid game. I really feel for Adame here. I feel like he was in a good position from the very early game. And now, through what feels a little bit like some build order and almost build order losses a little bit here. And a little bit of bad luck last time. Ending up a bad position. He's going to make the best of it, though. Upgrading Psystorm. If he gets a High Templar down, he will have an opportunity. Here's the thing. Reavers are not fast. And this is kind of a contained choke area. Even with this spread, that can catch a lot of units that can make the difference with a bit of Psystorm. If he decides, he has gone three gate opener. If he decides to kind of press things on kind of a... We have seen that interesting timing. I think Jess pulled it off best in Hasu League. But this is two Reavers on the ground. This is two Reavers to provide defense. Only two gateways worth of production at the moment. But if Michael plops down another two gateways, or even another gateway, in not too long, he should be able to make up the difference. His natural expansion is up and running, and this Nexus is only halfway finished. Observer is also going to be able to just float up and see absolutely everything. He's going to see these High Templar. So he's going to know what he's up against. And I think, honestly, as long as he keeps his Dragoons a little bit spread out, or even engages in a little bit more of a forward position than usual, he should be okay. And I'm almost wondering if Adame was playing this a little bit more, okay, I might be going up against superior gateway units, so I'm going to have this High Templar as a defensive option. Next is just warping in. Michael getting an eyeful of all the tech he's up against. He's getting a shuttle. He's not grabbing shuttle speed. And we do see Zelt leg speed being produced now for Adame. Adame way behind in the overall probe count. Primarily because it's been two Nexus, well not way behind, significantly behind in the overall probe count. Because you've got two bases producing two Nexus, two Nexus, I think is the official, producing against one. There's the additional gateway from Michael, and I think with this amount of vision, he should, he's got to feel comfortable. I don't like this pylon placement, however, because I think he's trying to use that as a defensive pylon, kind of clog the barrier. But with Psystorm, I'm a little concerned that that's actually going to end up working against him. We'll see. Fourth gateway, fifth gateway for Adame. So going a little bit more uh, gateway man to follow things up. And I'm wondering if once Zealot leg speed, if he's just going to start producing straight Zealots and go for an attack into this natural expansion. 
Probe wandering up, getting a good Eiffel. Here's the thing though, this is enough Dragoons, and with these Reavers in between, it's going to take some really nice Ice Storms to make up that difference. And Michael has all the information he could want. Robotics facility dropping down for Adame, so I don't even know that he's committing to this. Looks like he's just establishing his tech. I think he's hoping to go ahead and take a third before Michael. Michael getting his own Templar archives down. Might even produce, and here's the thing, he can still produce some Dark Templar, and because of the lack of observers out on the map for Adame, they can still provide a significant amount of map control, maybe even deny an additional base. But we'll see. In fact, he is opting to do that, noticing the lack of observers. Two Dark Templar in production right there, and that could be the difference. Here's the thing, Adame moves out, even with the Zelt leg speed, even with the Psy Storm, he needs a Psy Storm to hit those DTs to make up the difference. Just finally, he's popping two Photon Cannons down, so yeah, he has no ability, and that might be why he wasn't opting to move forward, he was a little bit concerned about that. But here's the thing, it's uh, kind of self-inflicted, he still hasn't produced an Observatory. Or, uh, Observatory, where is it? Finally getting the Observatory down, is this his Observatory? There, trying to find where it is on the minimap. It's hidden from me, I'll let it be. Comparatively, a bunch of additional gateways going down for Michael. He can go ahead and do pretty much whatever he wants. Somewhere there's observatory. <laughs> Salt Lake Speed now being upgraded for Michael comparatively. He has a probe hanging out. I think he's... Is he going to try to sneak an expansion in the upper left? Probe wandering in to get a scout. Spends a little bit of resources of those Reavers. Both players pa playing very passively here and just going for straight macro. And I gotta say, Adame's, despite everything, Adame's done a pretty good job of just flat macroing back into this. He was down several probes, but he is even in supply count. We'll see if that maintains. There are cannons to provide some defense. An observer is a little ways off, forcing a Dark Templar to size storm himself. Might even get another... Oh, uh, no, both die. So not a lot accomplished there. Did get a High Templar, so that's something. Michael being aggressive, moving his army across the map while the rest of this army is out of position, but this is a lot of size storm to greet it. He's going to go ahead and back up, thinking better of it. Michael with a bit of a supply lead. Now scooping up those Reavers. Keep in mind he doesn't have shuttle speed. Putting a photon cannon in his natural. He doesn't have Zelt leg speed just yet. That should warp in momentarily. He has an Archon, which can kind of push those out. Nadame, hmm, if Michael moves right now, he actually might be able to catch Adame out of position. Adame's moving out towards that third. Looking to kind of group in the in-between space, but both players lacking a lot of vision here. Adame has this pile in the bottom right hand corner. This probe is in the upper left. And Adame now actually moving out just as Michael's doing the same. Critically, if he can catch that shuttle and land some beautiful storms, that could be the difference in this fight. The High Templar are very, very slow, though. And along with that observer. But this is going to be an interesting kind of split point where he's engaging this. Shuttle dropping the Reavers. Michael saw the army incoming. Looks like he might be prepared here. Adame moving up to perhaps deny a third that is not yet being built there. Catching a few free units. The Reavers... Wow. Great Psy Storms! Over the Dragoons, but... And it looks like one of them hits the Reaver, but the Reaver was able to just clear out those Zealots in the meantime. Still a superior Dragoon count on the ground, but still two Reavers standing. And a lot of Archons as well. I don't know that the Psy Storms hit enough clumps for Adame. He is in retreat. And still plenty of Archons on the ground, plus those Reavers. Those Reaver shots, I think, were the difference. There was nice Psy Storm for Adame, but there just wasn't enough clumpage. And also just the Reavers being completely unopposed and assailing his standing army, giving Michael the overall win. Michael at 143 supply, winning that significantly. Plus those Archons just don't care about Psystorm. And they recharge those shields over time. He's going to feel very comfortable taking this 9 o'clock base. Adame actually distance mining a little bit here. Wondering if I... Did I miss a drop or something? I don't think I did. A little bit of distance mining. Does see this army regathering across the field. A Reaver slow walking, which should get picked off. He needs to be very careful, though, because this is a sizable army. This is 20 supply count lead, and that's Archons. Going to get the Reaver at the very least, and that's a big win. But the Archon sneaking underneath is going to catch Templar without energy. 
two of them. An Observer gets taken out. That doesn't make much difference because there's no dark High Templar. But the Zealots, wow, this is a big army that Adame just has to sacrifice. These Archons are just a moving wall of flame with these Zealots on top of these Dragoons. When you have an Archon on top of your Dragoons, it is a bad day. Adame just bleeding units now. Does have level 1 weapons, but honestly, I think Michael can just crash in this natural expansion. Sidestorm hitting a lot of this, but it's only a single storm, and it doesn't look like he has quite enough energy. Killing one of his own High Templar, even. Second Sidestorm. I think he accidentally clicked it there. Michael losing a lot of units here, but inflicting a lot of damage, and that was another empty Sidestorm for Adame, and Adame's natural expansion is, in fact, fully breached. Archon on top of probes just needs to attack something to get some kills. More reinforcements coming down. I Templar with zero energies flooding down. Some more Dragoons providing support. I think this might get cleaned up, but not before a whole lot of probes get killed by this Zealot and this Archon. Looks like they are flooding out. That was at least 10 probe kills. 19 kills on this Archon. Unbelievable. So Attack Force gets cleaned up. Might be a turnaround Psystorm here. Michael getting the much... Well, actually, Michael suddenly down a lot of supply. Zealot walking in, but here's the thing. Michael controlling three bases. Has a superior probe count. Four gateways, five, several, seven? Seven gateways. And is working on his upgrades. Level one weapons, level one armor should be the mo there momentarily. The forge is silent on the opposite corner. Michael's main is practically mined out. Same thing happening on the opposite side for Michael. And he is sneaking. He's going to try to sneak this expansion to the upper left. Very risky doing this. And it looks like this mm, Zerber's not going to see it. Zelts and Dragoons in composition here for Michael. There is one Archon out here. Has nine kills for Adame. Two Photon Cannons going the low ground. That Observer finally going to get picked off. Seven Gateways comparatively. So both players actually evening things up. Adame might be able to still swing this match. Because Michael, I think, honestly, he ended up ahead. But then... Wasn't able to gather his army and really focus on what he was attacking in that natural expansion. To either get Nexus or Probe Kills, which would have made that win even larger. And Adame is just out macroing him right this second. Even though he is getting a fourth base up. You can see in the supply count where they were even a little bit a while a little while ago. Now they're even on probes overall. And Adame is pulling ahead in the overall supply count. Shuttle with a Zealot and some High Templar moving out very dangerously. It looks like that Observer is going to see this army and try to maneuver around it. He's going to reposition towards the 6 o'clock. Might be able to see it. Going to sneeze. <laughs> ah, sneeze commentary. Could feel it coming. Hashtag sneeze. I'm not sure that needs to be hashtagged. This could be big. Drop the Zealot first. Might be able to get a lot of probe kills. Dropping down. Psystorm. Five kills. Six kills. And there's still a High Templar moving out towards the main. There's nothing to storm there. So he's going to have to swing around to the 9 o'clock. Some nice economic disruption for Adame. Pulling well ahead. Going to get another drop here. The shuttle's absorbing some hits. Another good Psystorm. Gets another five kills there. So ten probes down now. Nice little battle probe. Actually, just that's like that guy who's just, you know, he's a civilian, but hangs out with military people all the time. It's like, what's up, guys? Yeah. Counter drop moving across. Might be spotted. Plenty of cannons here. If Michael doesn't position this quite right. Dropping. Counter size storm. Gets, wow. Gets a lot of kills himself. Wow, completely wiped out this third. And that was a mining base. Shuttle is probably going to get picked off. And Adame sees this upper left hand corner. There's six cannons defending. He's pushing into it. A little bit distracted by that shuttle making its way across. But I think he's going to be able to kill this Nexus before reinforcements arrive. Reinforcements flooding their way across to try to do this. Adame trying to sneak an expansion himself in the bottom right hand corner. Michael thinking better of it, knowing that he's ended up sacking it. He's going to go for a counterattack up the ramp into some cannons and actually might end up trapping his army. We'll see. 
Adame needs to react rapidly, move his army across. This is going to be a ramp he's going to have to come down. And I think, actually, Adame, depending on how this positions, might be able to pincer this army two directions, depending on how he attacks this piecemeal. He's opting to instead go for a base trade situation, knowing that he might have this base in the bottom right-hand corner. Michael, realizing it, is repositioning to try to engage this. This base is completely empty, so there's only one mining base now for Adame. He still has a better bank, comparatively. And his army, not well gathered, is getting absorbed by Michael on the on the counter, regathering. So Adame, ooh, stor side storming his own bits. Good side storms from Michael across that Dragoon line. The rest of his army, wow, this is a mess. Dragoons coming in from underneath. More Dragoons coming in from the right. Good side storm from Adame on the, on the top there. It looks like good side storm and a, a side storm on his own army there, I think, from Michael along, along that corner. But Michael getting the better engagement point here. Because of some accidental concavity, Adame dealing with zealots coming from multiple directions, both armies regathering on either side of the map. And I think Michael gets the better exchange because took out the one o'clock base. Yes, he lost that base in the upper left-hand corner, but he's still mining on two bases effectively, where Adame is just down to one very, very thin base and is trying to sneakily warp in this Nexus there, and honestly, it's going to be a while as all it's trying to sneak what they can. They're just going to end up losing their lives for it, though. Michael ahead in the overall supply count. Nice. That was a crazy engagement. Both directions. Michael getting the much better result, I think. He needs to spot this base and take it out, though. Or get a good engagement otherwise. Looks like he's finally going to be able to peek in. This is a lot... He needs to have the full army gathered in. Zealots going first, though, to engage this. Adame trying to dive down with his army to draw them off. Posing a threat. He's basically saying, okay, you go up, you take that. I'm going to drop down on your army. He's in full flood. Lo Big weapons upgrade advantage also for Michael, which I think also might be the difference in those battles. Sidestorm's whiffing on, well, walking across. Ooh, getting a little bit more in between here. But only level two weapons, level one army. And I'm not sure what I should have paid more attention to that in that last engagement, but we'll... That might have also been a big difference here. But basically, Michael with a slight advantage. Sidestorming, mostly whiffing there. Working on that Archon. Does manage to focus that Archon down. Hi. Zealots moving across. And this is a much better engagement point for Adame this time. Zealots on top of the Dragoons. Beautiful sidestorms on pin Dragoons in that corner. Getting some good sidestorms, though, as the Zealots are making their way across. But only a single sidestorm comparatively. And Michael losing his army... And a little bit of an alcove. Probes. I'm not sure if this is an intentional transfer or this is like a join the battle transfer. This is an intentional transfer, unfortunately. Psy storming his own probes a little bit. More probes moving their way across. Because that natural expansion is mined out. Michael trying to attack as many probes as he can as they're diving into that bottom left-hand corner. He's taking his own pace here at the 5 o'clock. A bit of insanity on this map. Michael, both players getting their armies cleaned out. Michael has a higher supply count overall. I'm not sure where that army is located though and Adame is out of unit just out he's out mined out no bank so he needs to mine a little bit before he can stage a proper defense so Michael has an opportunity to win the game right here if he can somehow take this bottom right hand base out wandering up with that zealot making sure there's nothing mining there needs to be careful with these units and honestly maybe the better play here for Michael is to go ahead and establish another base or two himself he is mining. Still at it. Well, his natural has been... Doesn't look like that picked up mining again. So it's actually one base versus one base once again. He's got a shuttle. He's looking to sidestorm some probes underneath. The Dragoons might be able to engage that and halt it. We'll see. It'll come down to uh, some reaction speed from both players. I also want to keep in mind... Have people keep in mind that uh, both players are playing in probably some intense lag. Level 3 weapons, level 2 armor, by the way. Versus level 2 weapons, level 1 armor. So as far as just straight up engagements, pound for pound, Michael's units are stronger. Michael again with the, a bit of a supply lead. Does have the economic lead. Looking to close this out. This drop could be the game ender. Good size storm. Another good size storm. Obliterates every probe at this expansion. Wow. A blanket of lightning. And that's that expansion's production period. Ten probes to Adame's name now. Versus the 40... And that... So it, it wasn't a game winner earlier. I think that sealed it. 
I think that sealed the match overall. And Michael should be able to just... If he leads with the Archons, I think he should be able to just walk up and clear this out. Might even opt for Arbiter. Could just slow play it. Again, just take a Nexus. It looks like he is maneuvering to do so. Or, third option, just go ahead and attack the main. Because he's got the weapons upgrade advantage. He's got a larger army on the ground. I'm not sure that he has good vision on all of that. But he's mining well there. He's mining well there. He's got two bases. Sort of, it looks like Michael's starting to uh, resaturate that natural. Counter drop that I missed. Tit for tat, actually. Trying to morph in an Archon as well. Obliterating this mining base. But here's the thing. This is a base that Michael can afford to lose. Because he still has this mining base. He still has more probes that can produce out of that. Nexus should be able to resupply fairly quickly. And easily. Shuttle does stay alive, though. Adama showing signs of life. But honestly, I still feel like this is Michael's match to lose by a large margin. Adame down to just 53 supply. This is starting to look like the Alamo. And that shuttle, uh, limping its way back. Gets killed in the air. That's kind of like that guy who... Out there spotting the enemy. Maybe he's just... We'll make his life meaningful here. We'll say he was trying to draw the enemy away, right? Like, oh, run. Run from the fort. A Dark Templar out in the field. Does get picked off. I think he's going to try to wipe out here. Wipe out whatever's there. But I... Yeah. Not sure that matters much. There are High Templar waiting to storm this. But honestly, with some good size storm from Michael, that should be it. Regathering, re-engaging. Size storm hitting a bit of that Archon. That's not the unit you want to hit. He needed a much larger blanket. And Adame, once again, GG's out. Game two goes to Michael. We will move on to game three momentarily. Well played by Michael overall. Some beautiful size storms some good map positioning and really I feel like that critical moment actually this actually shows you the level of the lag because the game actually so there you can see how laggy it was that it didn't just do the full end right there so probably intense lag but that the engagement that happened in this area where Michael pulled his army back and had that split fight and I think had superior weapons upgrade in that moment let's go ahead and rewind and see if we can find it and take a look yep. go back in time this is pretty close to that moment so times four so this is just before that engagement. Let's see if I catch it again or it was again too low. This is too early actually. So moving across. Engagement there. A little bit here. Is this the moment? I think we're pretty getting closer. Here it is. So let's let's look at the upgrades here. Bring the speed back down. Level one, level one. So actually, no, just straight up, straight up, even upgrades as well, unless they're just about to finish. Actually, they are just about to finish. Level two weapons kick in before that engagement. So I think this might have been a big factor here, and I think level two armor might even finish before the end of this fight. So level two weapons as he's pulling back down, and this is just level one weapons comparatively. Oh no, he level two weapons just kicked in, as well, and level one armor just, yeah is just about to finish comparatively so yeah it's not a factor in this fight so it was just even even all right that's good to know hope you guys enjoyed it we're going to move on to game three between michael and adame michael is in fact up two games to nil thanks for listening